Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the dangers of Bill 14. So first of all, I'd like to say that I'm not a lawyer and I'm not a mortgage broker and this video is not intended to give legal advice. So if you're not aware, Bill 14 addresses many changes to the Residential Tenancy Act. The bill which came into effect on July 18, 2024 was intended to protect residential tenants from tenancies terminated in bad faith. On the surface, this sounds like a great idea, but the bill has created a slew of new problems and it's quite clear to everyone in the industry that the government did little to no consultation with industry experts before enacting this bill. The crux of the problem begins with the new requirement that landlords must give four months notice to evict instead of the previous two months notice. The way it used to work was that if a buyer purchased a home that had a tenant, they could give that tenant two months notice to leave the property if the buyer intended to use that property for personal use. So why is this a problem? It comes down to mortgage rate holds. Most banks will hold a rate from anywhere from 30 days up to 120 days if you're lucky. That means that if you purchase a tenanted property, your rate hold will expire before completion. If that rate were to increase, you may no longer qualify for a mortgage and the bank won't lend you the money, which is a huge problem because you have a legal and binding contract with the seller. As soon as the bill was released, the real estate and mortgage industry went screaming to the government about this obvious problem. The government listened and amended their bill so that as of August 21st, 2024, landlords now have to give three months notice instead of four. Now you may be thinking, okay, Dennis, if they hold my rate for four months and I have to give three months notice, that should be fine. Unfortunately, three months still won't fix the problem. Why? Because when you give notice, you have to give three complete months. So the month that you give notice in does not count. For example, if you give a notice on January 15th, January does not count toward the three months notice. The tenant would be moving out at the end of April, not at the end of March. Also, most buyers get a rate hold early in the buying process, which is the smart thing to do. So the clock may be ticking long before they even write the offer. I don't understand why the government didn't revert to the previous two months, but I can only assume that they wanted to look like they were doing something to help tenants. But what's done is done. And the bottom line is this. If you're selling or buying a tenanted property, you need to work with a realtor and a mortgage broker who's up to date and knows what's going on with these RTA changes. You will be in a world of pain if you end up with a contract and no mortgage financing. So there you go, you guys. If you have questions about that, please call me. Please be careful if you're buying a tenanted property um, and reach out to me anytime if you have questions. Thanks so much, you guys, and have a great day. Bye-bye.